friends and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by for today's video. Today I wanted to talk about a reading slump. So if you've been on my channel for a while, you know my life has been a little insane lately and I have been in a major, major reading slump. In fact, I have only read two books this entire year. I am currently reading Neon Gods. I was going to show it to you, but the book is somewhere in the house. That's the book I'm reading right now. This will be, I'm about 40% of the way through the book. It's interesting. I'm reserving judgment until the end. It is definitely a spicy one, a little spicier than I'm used to, um, but I am liking it so far. So that's going to be my third book of the year. And I am surrounded right now by 10 others because these are the books that I pulled out to put on my TBR card that I keep next to my bed because I feel like these 10 books are gonna be exactly what I need to just crush the rest of my reading goals. And I wanted to share those books with you. So the first one I wanna talk about is one I don't think I've ever seen anybody on booktube talk about before. This doesn't have like a cover. It's Tristan and Isolde, which is a like medieval story. It's a tale, like, a, like an old tale that had been passed down for years and years and years very similar to like you know uh king, what is it king arthur and genevieve or is that it um the movie that came out in i think 2006 was one of my is one of my favorite movies of all time it is beautiful and tragic and makes me cry every time i watch it and this is the story of that so you've got Tristan who falls in love with the beautiful Isolde however they cannot be together because she has been promised and forced to marry uh, Lord Mark who is the man who essentially raised him and he is like his right hand man so it is a beautiful and tragic story this book only has a couple hundred pages and i am hoping that the actual real tale is as good as the movie so i will definitely be doing a reading vlog where i read this and then watch the movie because i mean any excuse to watch the movie again so these are, I didn't mean to kind of divide these up between romance and thrillers. I just kind of grabbed them as they were on my TBR shelf and I kind of did them by size and color, but they kind of all happen to be thrillers and then romance. So I don't know what order I'm going to read these. These are really in no particular order. I'm just grabbing them. So one of the first books that I'm excited to read, by the way, tell me how to get these stickers off, please. Um, one of the first books that I'm excited to read is... Good Girls, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. So I love thrillers so much. This is about Pip, who is investigating a murder case that happened in her town about five years beforehand uh, because Andy Bell was murdered by her boyfriend, Sal. And as Pip starts kind of investigating or opening up the investigation for this school project, she realizes mm, that maybe things aren't what they seem. And it says, past and present, the lines between past and present begin to blur. And someone in Fairview doesn't want Pip digging around for answers. And now her own life might be in danger. So this sounds so freaking good. I love a good floppy paperback. It doesn't have that many pages. I think it's just under 400. So I feel like this is going to be a really good read. The next one on here, I have read the first chapter because I was doing a try chapter video. Um, this one is One of Us is Lying. Basically, it gives me serious breakfast, <laughs> breakfast, oh gosh, I can't talk, breakfast club vibes, only we got murder in this one. So a bunch of students are just plumped together for a detention and in detention, one of them ends up dead. And you know, who did it? Why was it an accident? Or is someone in the breakfast club to blame? Granted, they don't call themselves the Breakfast Club, but you know, I'm old and that's what it's giving me vibes for. The next one is The Wife Upstairs. Oh my God. If you've been on my channel like ever before, you know, Jane Eyre is one of my favorite books of all time. Okay. I have multiple copies of Jane Eyre. I absolutely love this book. So you, mm, a thriller retelling of that book. Yes, yes. Yes, I'm so excited for this one. Only this time our Jane is not uh, so nice. She is a dog walker who happens to like steal from her clients. And then she happens to meet Eddie and she thinks, mm, maybe he's a perfect mark. 
or something, but then her and Eddie start to fall for each other. But of course, Eddie has the Miss Rochester, uh, his first wife who died in a boating accident, but is she really dead? And will anybody find out that Jane is not all she crack is cracked, like paints herself to be or whatever? I'm so here for it. I haven't read it yet, but I'm here for it. Next, we have Lucy Foley, the Paris apartment. What I like about this one is it doesn't really tell you much in the synopsis. All I really know is that we have our main character, Jess, who wants to go visit her brother, Ben, I think. Yeah, Ben, uh, because she, her kind of life is falling apart. I think she loses her job. She decides to go to Paris, visit her brother in this super nice apartment that there's no way he can afford on his own. So where do you get the money? Why is he there? And also where the hell is he? Because she shows up and he's not there. Uh, the neighbors are all mm, a little shady. So what's going on? Where is he? And the more she tries to investigate, she realizes that her brother must be in some serious trouble and maybe she's got to help him or something. I don't know. It's got Paris. It's Lucy, Fo Lucy Foley, who I've read one book by her before and absolutely loved it. And I am just really excited to see what the hell is going on with Ben. Where you at, bro? This one I'm so excited for. Okay. The Book of Cold Cases. I am a huge true crime fan. I watch tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of true crime on YouTube. So the Book of Cold Cases is one that I'm really, really interested in because this is about, what are their names? Uh, Shay. Okay. So Shay Collins writes for a, like has a true crime blog and she ends up running into this woman. I forget her name. Her name doesn't matter. Anyway, she runs into this woman who in the seventies was acquitted of two murders of men. So she runs into her and then after this acquittal, she just like escaped to her mansion and she runs into her and the woman agrees to an interview for her blog and she goes to this mansion to interview her, but things move on their own. She's seen a little girl somewhere. It's got some paranormal vibes to it. I'm thinking some true crime, 1970s murders, and it takes place in Oregon where I live. So all the things I love. All right. Just breezing through this one. All right. So this one, I have been waiting for summertime to be able to read this book. Um, I this just the title alone makes me want to read How to Marry Keanu Reeves in 90 Days. So we have our main character Lou, who is in love with Keanu Reeves because who the fuck isn't? I'm sorry. Uh, he's gorgeous. He's perfect. I mm, mm, the things. Mm. He's beautiful, so I would do all of the things that she is doing. If somebody told me that he was getting married and I could hop in my car with my bestie and go on a road trip trying to convince him to marry me instead, yes, I would do that in a heartbeat. Only she convinces her best friend, True, to come with her. And he goes with her because he's got a crush on her. So I'm guessing that she's not going to convince Keanu Reeves to marry her but that we got a little friends to lovers thing going on between True and Lou. That's my guess, and I'm so here for it. Another romance we have here is The Love Hypothesis. Everybody who has ever read a book has been talking about this book for months and months and months, or basically since it came out. I'm really excited to read this as well. I'm a writer, so I don't understand science, so a little quirky romance with scientists, I... I, I'm so, I just think it's going to be adorable and so cute. And it's my one of my new favorite tropes, which is fake dating. So we've got our main character, what is her name? Olive. Olive and Adam. So Olive wants to convince her best friend that she's happy and dating and you don't have to worry about me. So she kisses the first guy she sees because, you know, that's always such a smart idea, who happens to be somebody that works in the lab with her. And Adam agrees to go on with the whole fake dating scheme. And like all good fake dating stories, I'm thinking it's going to turn into a real love romance situation. And that just makes my heart so excited for these two. And I haven't even read the first page. So we got that one. And the last book is Book Lovers because we are all book lovers here. Okay. So, I mean, it's in the title, right? 
So we've got two, I'm thinking this is a, uh, what is it, Enemies to Lovers book. So we've got these two, uh, what are their names? Nora, I think. Yes, Nora and I forget his name. His name doesn't matter. Does the guy's name ever really matter? So we got Nora and this dude. And they are both literary agents, which, oh my God, how much would I love to be a literary agent? And they, she goes on a trip with her sister to North Carolina and keeps running into this douchey book editor guy and, or literary agent dude. And I'm thinking they have a little enemies to lovers thing going on because it basically says on the back that he's a douche and they both love books and then maybe they'll start to love each other. I'm thinking maybe. So those are the 10 books <laughs> that I am hoping to read. No, that I will be reading. Like the next 10 re books that I read will be these. And I will be doing some reading vlogs, maybe some try a chapter vlogs if you guys are into that. And hopefully after reading these 10 books, I will have a renewed sense of reading and love and, and figure out time management so I can read. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Anyways, I really want to get out of this reading slump and I really want to take you along with me. So if you have read any of these books, don't leave any spoilers, but tell me out of these 10, which ones you have read and you think that I'm going to love, or if you haven't read any of them, which of these 10 are you most excited to read? So definitely leave a comment down below. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please, please do and give that little, um, little like button thumbs up thing there, a little a little push on that button because that tells the alg algorithm on YouTube that you like when I drink too much coffee and talk too fast about books. And I'm actually filming a live stream right now. So I'm going to have to go back to the people that are waiting for me. Um, I do live streams every Monday. They are productivity streams. So if you like to read, write, clean your house, whatever you're doing, and you want to be productive with me, make sure to tune into my channel every Monday at noon so we can be productive together. Let's see. I've asked you to come to live stream, subscribe to my channel, give it a like. Oh yeah. You know what to do, my friends. Go write some words and read some of the books that you think will get you out of a reading slump, and I will see you guys for a vlog on Wednesday.